Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, welcome back to another exciting episode of Tech Reboot. And here we are, and the turtles are done, so we can check them out. So they're all done. Uh, ooh, I don't know why that turtle went back down there. It wasn't supposed to. It was done when I checked it right before I uh, finished messing with this world. So apparently I'm going to have to go down there and get that turtle that decided to be misbehaving and going the wrong way. Do we have... We have some sticks... I guess I'm gonna have to make do and make a shovel real quick. That way I can go get the turtle. Alright, so uh, sad news. Aww, you guys didn't make the uh, 500 uh, likes. But uh, what I do want to do is, since I'm just judging my audience returning back to YouTube, I'm actually gonna lower that for you guys to 250. Now, I think there's uh, exactly like 100 and something, 120 or something like that on this episode. So. 250 is not bad to do, so that's what I'm going to do to start out with. And then once you guys start reaching the goals that we set forth, oh, sorry, I hit the mic, uh, then we'll uh, change it up. So, uh, yeah, 250 likes on this video, and you will get two videos tomorrow. So that's how that's going to work. Let me know what you guys think down below. You guys helped out a lot in the last episode. For instance, the Undead Leo 1 says, Computer Craft resets all the running programs. Ooh, it found a dungeon. I might want to go down there. Yeah, I'm coming down here anyways. I might as well go down for the dungeon as well. I didn't even see that I made that. Let's go this way so we can pick our turtle up. Turtle, you're supposed to be with me. Oh, no. Oh, I found diamonds. I should have checked the turtle to see if it had stuff in it. That's not good. All right. Well, you know how they say don't dig straight down? Well, I kind of can see where I'm digging, so I think I'm good with the straight down. That creeper is going to fall off because he's not that smart. It had diamonds in it. Let's go ahead and go across here just a little bit. That way I can look in the chest. And we found a punch. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and put all this stuff. Oh, great. Nice. Err. We'll be back. Alright guys, we are back. Sorry about that. I made the classic mistake of uh, having a... Uh, wow, it, it brought me back like two seconds before I was doing stuff, but I had my bag in the wrong place and I was trying to put a canvas bag inside of a canvas bag and that does not work because that just totally messes you up. So let me get that stuff now. <clears throat> Make sure all my canvas bags are on bottom. And there we go. So there's the mob. Oh no, 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 don't blow, don't blow up the spawner. We're going to need that spawner for later on. Ah! Oh, there's another chest. Whew. Well, at least uh, I found another chest out of this. It wasn't all bad, I guess. Didn't really have that much in it, but hey. We got two chests, and apparently we destroyed the spawner. Oh, well. I guess we didn't need it anyways. But I did want to go down there to get the rest of my stuff before it despawns. Hopefully it didn't despawn with the whole... No, I can still see the orbs. We're good. All right. So, anyways, the end of Leo says computer craft will not run because uh, it resets when all running programs uh, is not chunk loaded. If you leave the game, but you can fix it with a simple program and GPS tower. So, if you guys know a simple program that I can use, let me know down in the comment section below. Actually, best uh, way to do it is give me a paste bin. Uh, via messaging, PMing me on YouTube, and we'll use uh, your, either yours or if you find one, let me know, because we can use that one as well. So that would be really cool. Uh, that way we can have a better way of uh, not having to reset the turtles every time that I turn the game off and turn it back on. Luckily, all these turtles were done mining. I don't know why that one turtle got stuck where it was, but all these turtles were done mining before we, uh, before I actually exited out of the game. So. The good thing about that was, and I know you guys are probably all anticipating the fact, do we have emeralds? You know, because we came here, we came to the extreme hills biome to find emeralds, right? Well, uh, I'll let you guys find out that here in a second. When I get back up, actually, unless it shows, do I, did I have any already? Did I find any already? Okay. Uh, apparently not yet. So let's see if we uh, have emeralds. Let's go up. And up, 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 up in a way. Good thing about digging this hole like this is I can just easily come back up the same way that I got down. Gads, Gadget Buster Jr. 
says, uh, yes, when you turn off the game, the program ends. The other programs are you can fix. <coughs> Werner Dreyer says, nearby, if you want power suit, you need IC2 because they're powered with IC2 power. Uh, we will get to IC2. It's not like I was totally avoiding IC2. I just wanted to try something different. So, yes, we do have an emerald. There we go. Awesome. So, let's go ahead and come over here, put all our stuff in that one, take all that stuff, put all that in that one, and we'll move on to this chest. And this chest actually has a lot in it as well. All these chests have quite a bit in it. What we'll do is we'll just go through here and see if we can find uh, an extra chest to put stuff in because we uh, are almost out of space. There's the iron, so that's good. Let's see if any of these stack. I wish it would stack on top of each other. That would just be make it so much easier. Like if it would know that it already had the stack. That would be cool. The one thing that I really don't care about too much is the cobble, because we have plenty of cobble at the house. So, you know what? I think I'm going to take all the cobble that I had extra and put it in here. We'll take the mossy cobblestone, because that might be worth something. But uh, when it comes down to cobble, we are set for cobble for life, pretty much. So, we'll put that up there, correct our inventory, put the rest up there. And you know what? We actually, we have plenty of dirt at home, too. Let's leave the dirt as well. I'm just trying to make my inventory a little bit nicer and neater. We'll do that. Do that. Alright, I think that's good. We have a little dirt in that one, but it's okay. Not too worried about it. We will... Was there anything awesome down this one? Ah, bedrock. That was about it. So yeah, like I said, you guys didn't make the uh, 500, but 250 is what you guys got to do in this episode, so it's not too hard. Uh, I think the, uh, what do I want to say, the Divine RPG uh, right now is setting at uh, like almost 250, so it's not too shabby. Let's just go ahead and move all that stuff over there. Wow. Okay, well that chest is even out of it. That's cool. There we go, right there. We, we got redstone too, which was good because we might need that. And we got everything else that we needed. So we can actually head back home now. Yay! We can go back home. Oh, let me get my last turtle. I don't want to lose this turtle. Because that's an extra three turtles. So again, if you have uh, any program you want to uh, give me, that way we can use it on all our turtles so we don't have to really worry about anything. We can give them pl plenty of lava cells and I can exit the game and come back and hit like a resume button or something like that to get them all going again. <laughs> Dr. McFetus says go a few more floors up and build the lava tanks up with you then make an awesome roof with Zycraft blocks. That actually sounds pretty amazing by the way. I was thinking about that today at work because I read your comment while I was at work and I was just like if I just built like picture this I build up right and in the middle of the tower that I have I build a like either just one huge Zycraft tank uh, or a four set of Zycraft tanks one for lava one for so-and-so one for so-and-so and just gather materials as I go around the world say I find an oil well I could just throw an ender uh, tank by the oil well that way we have plenty of other stuff and we can work for build craft and all that. Or not build craft, uh, rail... Why did I make bowls? I'm trying to make a boat here and I'm like, bowls. That's what I want. I want bowls. Let's go with that right there. And swim away. Even though we really don't need to swim away because we'll, well, <laughs> we could walk all the way home. We could walk. Uh, so yeah, I, w I was wondering about that. Should I do just... Or I was thinking making it uh, layers, you know, have a layer of this, a layer of that, a layer of this. For instance, like a layer of lava, a layer of, a layer of oil, a layer of fuel. That way it looks like there's multiple layers on my tower and you can see the different colors in. So that's another option. Is this another volcano? There's th How many volcanoes does this world have? There's three volcanoes in a row. Wow. This one's a little weird though. It's cutting into all the forest trees. There's another Thom totem. There's no wisp around that one. 
No, zzz, zzz, nearby, zzz, whoa. Uh, just stay fly, 131 says, nearby with the ME bus, you can attach your whole storage system to one or two access terminals on a wireless access terminal. Now what uh, Garth RS said to do uh, for the cobble was to put it in a, um, a barrel and add the attachment to the barrel and then you can add that somehow to, I'll have to get with him more. Uh, more and see what he meant by that. We'll probably do it in our series that way. But it uses less bytes because it doesn't actually recommend using bytes or something like that. I don't know what exactly he was getting at. He was confusing me, okay? We played for like three hours yesterday and he was just mentioning stuff that was like way out of my technology right now. Uh, 101 Cool James says build more tanks for lava. Obviously we were gonna have to. Uh, the one that I have only holds 128 buckets and we're gonna need a lot more buckets than that. Hi there, says make an obsidian pressure plate. It can be triggered by your mobs, or, or it can't be triggered by mobs, or triggered by you and not by mobs. That's what I meant to say. Uh, oh, I've used them before, so yeah, definitely. We're going to have to make one of those for the outside. That way it's less, it's more convenient and less of a pain in the rear. You know what? I'm not going to kill him with the pickaxe. Nope, we're trying to shovel this time. I need food. I know we found some bread and some other stuff. There's one piece of bread. There was an apple as well. You know what? We'll just go ahead and take that as well as our other piece of bread and munch on that. Antog 100 says, keep going up and down. I have no clue what that means. Uh, Metal Panic 8181 says, uh, I'm looking forward to watching your videos again nearby. It's been too long since I've watched your videos anyways. Sweet. Welcome back. Welcome back to the nearby nation. Hopefully we can at least build the table, the power suit table in this episode. We should be able to get that done. Because that's why we went all the way to the extreme hills biome, just for the table. Hey Enderman. I don't even need you anymore. I can make enderpearls without you. Woohoo! Ooh, this is where I died last time don't want to die again because of that because of falling crazy man 218 2108 says could you make your house in the ground I think it would be really cool as it would be like a bomb shelter uh, I don't know that's what you that's up to you guys like I know we have the upper part of the base built but should we build down into the ground problem with that would be digging it out but we could easily use a turtle and and square off the area that we wanted so getting the floor underneath of us taken out, that's pretty easy. So, what do you guys think? K Backhouse95 says, Thank you so much for coming back nearby. You have no idea how much I've missed your videos. Honestly, your videos are always make my day. <clears throat> and now I have something to look forward to every day. Thanks for being you nearby. You're the best YouTuber. Well, thank you very much, K Backhouse95. That does mean a lot to me. BK Manstorm says, hey nearby, after most of your tech videos, I suddenly got bored of your channel, but now all the new posts have gotten me to watching again. So, uh, yeah. Keep it up. Speaking of, in one of the last videos I suggested and said that if you don't like your video, your, your YouTube account being spammed by videos, you might want to unsubscribe. And I already had somebody complain about, oh my gosh, there's too many videos, you're doing too many live streams, which I want to talk about live streams for a second. Live streams gives me a more of a chance to communicate with the audience, which is you guys. And the only reason I put them on YouTube is because people who don't want to go to twitch.tv, uh, well, they don't want to go to twitch.tv, but yet they want to see the live stream. So if you want to avoid the live streams, you can just go to the playlist that I have set up because I've actually been putting all the videos. See, if we're going to make this like you guys want it with the obsidian plate, we're going to have to put it like that. But, uh, I've been putting all these series' playlists where they need to be so they are up to date and ready. So if you just want to go to the playlist to find the new episodes, that's an easy way to do it as well. Rather than, you know... I thought we had some obsidian. You know what? In fact, it's probably over here. Oh, we're out of power. That's one thing that I'm going to have to fix. I don't think I want to use a magmatic engine for this. But I don't know. If I hook the pipes up, I wouldn't have to worry about it as much. Obsidian. Yes, we do have obsidian. Nice. 
but yeah, uh, if you go to the playlist section on my channel, you'll find all the new update, updated uh, playlists for you to watch. And you can go straight to that and find out if there's a new episode or not. I try to keep them updated relatively awesomely easily for you. So hopefully you guys are, uh, you're, well, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Beast R Airsoft Review says, Nearby, I'm super excited to see that your channel is starting up again. I was always a frequent viewer and love to watch your videos while I do homework. Good to see you do what you love again. I know, right? I just got it off track. I got off the beaten track. Okay, so now we want to make the power table or whatever it's called. Power something. Ah, if I can type right. There it is. Power armor table, which is just lapis lazuli and, wow, it's actually pretty cheap. Iron, lapis lazuli, which I think we got some, and an emerald. I know we have a lapis somewhere. I just want the emerald. And for right now, let's just go ahead and place everything that we have functioned for up here. We'll go ahead and take some iron out. And then we will take some lapis lazuli out. And now we should be able to make our armoring table. Dun 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 dun. We'll just do that like that and that. And now we have the power armor table. I'm just going to place that right here for now. No module power suit items found in inventory. Makes some we recommend experimenting with still plates and basic circuitry. So I do have the wiki up for this. And uh, it says no module power suit items. So I'm going to have to build a power head, armor, and torso, and all that. So a power head. We should be able to build all these relatively easily. So let's go ahead and get building, right? That's what it is. It's Minecraft. You have to mine and then build. Mine and then build. So we'll come over here. We'll get some gold. Do I not have gold in there? Is that the one thing I don't have in there? I saw a glowstone. Do we not have gold? I think gold's actually over here. Okay, so we do have gold. Cool. And then we're going to need redstone. Which I do believe I have redstone on me. Yep. And iron. We're going to need a lot of iron, so I might as well start cooking up the rest of this iron. Oops. Not what I meant to do. Let's put it right up there. Okay, so that iron's cooking up. Let's go ahead and come over here to our project table to make it a little bit easier to work with. And uh, let's just choose that, that, and, well, eight's good. We really don't need eight, but it'll work. Obviously, it doesn't know that I have the iron, so we'll do it like this. The iron, 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 and two of these. So there we go. We have the power armor head. Now we need the torso. Apparently this is an easy armor set to make. There's the torso. We need the legs. Wow, this is super easy. I'm trying to get I'm starting to get scared. Like why is it so easy? And then we need the boots. It's probably because it takes so much power. And then of course we can use the power tool which we need to make more of these if I can remember how to make those ah I was a little bit off just a little bit so there's more of those and now we're just gonna need two pieces of iron and three of these to make the power tool so there we go we have the power suit complete and ready in fact, I could probably wear it right now, but it's probably not going to do anything awesome because it's not powered, first of all, and secondly, it has no installed modules. So if I come over here, now I can actually see that I can make night vision, which uh, a pair of augmented vision goggles to help you see night and underwater, flight control, an integrated control circuit to help you fly better, press C to go down, R a meter connects up some thomic goggles to show up the nearby oh you can put oh that's awesome energy solar generator let the sun power your adventures
basic integrated battery to allow the items to store energy advanced battery uh, integrates a more advanced battery to store more energy elite battery integrates the most advanced battery to store an extensive amount of energy auto feeder why eat when your armor can feed oh I like that one right there auto feeder I don't have to eat or worry about eating once I get that water electrolyzer when you run out of air this module will jolt the water around you electrolyzing a small bubble to breathe in that's awesome uh, iron plating basic plating is heavy but protective diamond plating advanced plating is lighter harder so press shift for more information some carefully arranged metal armor plates for use in the tinkering table like I don't know understand how to install them itself I can just see that you know cosmetics gives your armor some colored tinting to customize your armors appearance makes the item transparent so you can show off your skin without losing armor an alternative armor texture nice I want to see what I can add to this thing we have a plasma cannon that's really cool a melee assist a much simpler add-on makes your power tool punch hit harder a tool add-on that reads the oh wait hold on a special type of wiring with high voltage capacity and precision necessary for sensitive do I have the stuff to make that okay so it shows you what you need to make that so for instance if I hover over if I take that I need basic plating if I take that I need advanced plating so what's basic plating gonna cost me just to get basic plating on all my stuff because I have a lot of iron going Oop, there it was right there that's not that much I think we can go ahead and basic plate all of our stuff very simple we already have that I wonder how much plates it takes. Well, I'm going to make four just because... Actually, I should make five. You know what? We'll just do that. We'll make four, and if I come back over here, I should be able to basic plate some stuff. Armor. Install. But you need energy in order to plate it. I see. Aha. Uh -huh. So, does it say energy storage? Does it take it you said it takes IC2, so I can't use anything else rather than IC2, can I? But I could probably hmm. I'm wondering in the back of my mind if I hook up an engine to the side of this. The tinkering table enables you to do work on all your power armor pieces as well as power tools. General upgrades, that's all it says. That's all it says. Okay, so apparently we're going to need, well, we're going to need some sort of power source for this. Bat box would probably do really well. Uh, we could do geothermal generator since we have so much lava. And we can use bat boxes. But we are going to need rubber, which I don't think we have, by the way. We even have rubber saplings. Not even sure if we have that. Let's go over here. No, we have nothing for rubber, apparently. In fact, we have a little bit. Actually, I used all the rubber that I had. And I don't think I gained any rubber trees while I was at it. So, we are definitely out of rubber, guys. We are out of rubber. In the next episode, we will definitely have to get rubber trees and start growing the rubber farm in fact in forestry we should probably just go ahead and start making a rubber tree farm in forestry that would probably make it so much easier so yeah in the next episode we will be doing that guys but in this episode look at that we got a tinkering table we have the armor on us right now which i don't think without energy it probably yeah i have no armor at all pretty much i'm running around naked pretty much this is just a suit that looks cool that's about it so we are uh, kind of out of luck right now. But it does look cool, right? It does have its aspects of awesomeness. So yeah, in the next video, we will look for rubber so we can start making our geothermals, so we can start powering this. I want to check this just in case. Just in case. I know it's, a, it's probably not going to work, and I could totally be stupid by doing this. But I just want to see if this works. 
Because somebody said icy too. And like I said, this could probably be totally wrong. And it probably is totally wrong. But if I just put a magmatic engine to the side of this, no, it doesn't connect. So that would mean that no, it does not take that type of engine. Nice. Okay, well, we will definitely fix that in the next episode and get some power stuff going to our suit. That way, I feel a lot safer around here. Because right now, I don't feel very much safe running around naked in this suit. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, we will see you again tomorrow for another exciting episode. Remember, 250 likes equals two episodes tomorrow. Yes! Let's see what we can do. We can do that, right? We've got it. The nearby nation is strong, we are powerful, and we have this. See you guys then.